Do you have a tendency and a habit of picking your nails, biting your nails, or picking things on your face? Or have you seen your children not let a wound heal because they pick off the scab? Well, I'm going to look at why we do this, kind of the setup, where it comes from, and then we're going to do a clearing session on it. We're going to clear that pattern. Now, this isn't a one and done clearing. Long-term habits like that require us to do the clearing steps and reset them and reframes multiple. Oh, there's my uh, my phone going off. Hang on, we'll turn that off. When we have a long-term habit, we're resetting our neural pathways and our really our biochemistry to fire different signals into our system because. This, we're biting, it's a byproduct of, of certain biochemical signals that we're sending and that's the behavioral response that we engage with. So we've got to disrupt that and repattern it. And so you're going to want to do, you know, give yourself access to this clearing and reframe regularly whenever you are going into that behavior tendency again of biting, picking, nail biting. Now I come from a family where this has been a generational pattern. My dad was a nail biter, nail picker. I have a brother that's um, had this habit. It, I, I have it. Uh, some of my grandchildren are dealing with it. And I know as I clear it, I can clear it going both directions. I'm opening a space to establish a new healthy pattern so that my grandchildren aren't stuck in this energy imprint and energy, generational energy uh, body that we keep passing on. Why do we pick? Why do we bite? Well, in my case, I started to pick um, and bite my nails and pick at my face when I was very, very young because I was in a trauma scenario and I was disassociating. I disconnected. It gave me something to focus on when I didn't have the ability to remove myself or set boundaries. I started picking when I was at least two or three years old. My mother tells the story that she had to put um, secure gloves on my hands because I would do it in my bed at night. Now, that should have been a red flag to her that I was under stress and there needed to be something else resolved. That a child just doesn't start incessantly picking over and over and really kind of wound themselves to if there's not some stress factor that's really influencing that. I'm not saying that it's abuse necessarily or a trauma scenario. It could be a school scenario. It could be a peer group experience, but there's a stress that's not being addressed and it's a way for us to disconnect from the stressful feeling or and release that energy. It's got to go somewhere so we put it into that behavior pattern. And it can be problematic because we do it often without thinking of like we'll just start doing it and then realize we're doing it because it just the body responds to that energy and then our mind notices oh i'm doing that again children especially will do that now i have been able to disrupt the nail biting i actually get acrylic nails and uh gel tips so i don't i don't mess with them that's that's really stopped that behavior but i still have a tendency to pick my face and that is something I've been able to clear and really bring to clean that up. And I'll go through cycles of that depending on what's going on in the collective energy. It's gotten actually heightened this last year through 2020 because the energy was just so intense. I noticed there were more breakouts in my face and picking tendencies that I've had to address. So whatever's going on for you, this is an easy clearing. Be forgiving of yourself and choose to create something different with that energy so you're not self-wounding, self-abusing. A big aha for me as well was if I have a history, anyone with a history of abuse, you'll start to control that behave, that particular pattern by abusing yourself. It's sort of like unknowingly it's self-abuse now because your, your body is used to being abused. So you now step in and become the perpetrator of your own physical body, picking would be an actual exhibit of that, that it's abusive to pick your face and to not let something heal. That's abusive to your body. That was a big discovery of mine. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm now abusing myself. Please, my poor body. Forgive me, body. I'm so sorry. You know, give me another chance here. <laughs> I'm really sorry. You really deserve better. 
it was sort of this humbling moment with my body to just say, oh, that's really not what I want. I want to love, care, and uh, really treat my body with a high degree of respect. All right, so bring to mind, if you're a picker, a biter, pulling hair, pulling eyelashes, any of this applies, but we're going to use the reference. Any behavior that's provoked by the, the whys I've shared with you can, can look... Uh, there's variables, but I will use the language of picking, biting. You can change it as you need to. My mom was a picker too. She would, I remember laying in bed, picking the dead skin off her feet every night and it would never heal. So it's generational, is yours generational. And so you're now in this experience that the story was created before you. The energy is added upon whatever happened in your childhood that would have set you up to want to act out this tendency as a stress reliever. That's a piece of it. So generational, childhood wounding can be a piece of it. And now you're just, it's a habit that your, your energy system kicks up. You don't have, you're not clearing your energy in healthy ways. So you're trying to relieve the stress and disassociate with this behavior. Never works and it does not honor who you are. So. We'll start with, um, and even though putting your hand on your chest, I'm going to use EFT or tapping to, you can either tap along with me, tap on your own pace, or you can just listen and, and speaking it out loud really helps because it gives ownership to the experience and it puts into words what you're ready to shift. Even though I've been picking and biting, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I've done this for years and I've still not been able to stop it, I'm ready to change that pattern. Even though this is, it's embarrassing and I have to hide with makeup or uh, different ways to camouflage it because I don't want anyone to know, I now choose to let myself heal and to let these parts of me heal. I'll take my glasses off. Okay, releasing stress. Under stress, don't know how to get out of the stressful experience. How, no way to get out of it. Disconnecting by biting and picking. Self-abuse. Hurting myself now. If I'm going to be hurt, I'd rather be in control of it. Letting that go. Releasing. Damaging my own appearance. I can't stop it. I tell myself I'm going to stop it, but then I don't. Noticing the times I do it, choosing to be mindful and choose something else in those moments, letting go, fear, trauma, abuse, being dishonored as a child, generational patterns, Releasing the energy of picking, biting, and stress behaviors to release stress and disconnect as many generations as they go back, letting it go for all generations and lifetimes. Letting go of the embarrassment. Why do I do this? But I can stop, but I can't stop. Try and stop, then I do it again within the hour. Picking till something's bleeding, anger. Trying to get the anger out. Trying to get the sadness out. Opening the wound. Thinking it's going to help by removing the scab. Now my children are doing it. How do I get them to stop? Let it go. Release it. For all generations, backwards, forwards, release it. Letting go of the trauma, the stress, the buildup that I'm trying to release through this behavior, let it go. Just pull that all out, let it go, wipe it off. Oh, Hand on the heart, I forgive myself for picking on myself, for feeling picked on as a child. I forgive myself 
for biting myself, tearing away at myself. I deserve better. I forgive myself. I am whole and healed. Let's reset that now, create a healthy new vibration and energy. I am dealing with stress in healthy, mindful ways. I'm free of all trauma energy. I'm a free, I am free of all abuse energy. There's no more need to disconnect, dissociate. I am present in my body. I am present and I am balanced. I'm expressing myself in healthy, kind ways that honor my true self. I am kind to myself. I only exhibit loving behaviors towards my body. I make loving choices in support of my body. I honor and respect my body and exhibit behaviors that support that. I am free of all habits that have not been serving me. I am free. I am in a new healthy energy pattern. I create that pattern for all generations, backwards, forwards. I share it with my children, my grandchildren. We are all now living in a healthy energy. I am a change maker. I love and accept my truth. My inner child is now safe. Breathe that in. How's that feel? Tap all over your body. Ground that in your cells. If you know what an energy circle is, get up and throw those into the energy circle and really activate that energy. Yeah, when do you do this? I do it every day. Just don't wait till you're picking, but then especially turn this on and do it if you're in the space of picking. If you go, I'm doing it again. Got to do that. Got to. I'm I ready to. Oh, I'm ready. My fault. I got so excited there. Siri was thinking I was talking to her. You can make this change. You'll be so glad you did. And you'll go, I remember when I used to pick myself. Hey, I am really good at helping you heal your life. I'm a healing expert. I have a fabulous basics guide, the energy healing basics guide. Anybody that goes through that's going to have um, their life improve. Go to healwithcarol.com. Go through my basics guide. I have a fabulous glossary that teaches you what all the language of energy healing means. Get familiar with this. You are an energy being. You are playing and working with energy every day of your life for the fact that you think and you feel. That is energy. And that energy is affecting your life. As you become a conscious human and a mindful creator of your reality, you will direct that energy. That energy is available to you now to create the reality you desire. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you at HealWithCarol.com.